Hey there, Philip here from Manning the Fort, and I've got another product review for you today. This one is something that I just got in the mail um, less than an hour ago as I'm recording this, and I'm pretty excited about it. And it is the Pro Acryl Basing Texture. So I'm a big fan of using stuff like this on bases. Um, people like to use some of the texture paints from Citadel, like this uh, Martian Iron Earth, but the thing is they are incredibly expensive for what they are. In the past I, I've used a whole lot of this one, which is a uh, Vallejo, and this is black lava slash asphalt, but I was starting to, I mean it's not exactly low, it's a big tub, but uh, I was getting low enough that I was thinking about trying something new, and I saw that Proacryl, a brand that I'm a big fan of, had started making their own. And um, one thing I will say right off the top, if you're ordering, is uh, pay attention on the order screen, because there are two. There is coarse, and there is fine. This is the fine. So it's going to look pretty different from the Vallejo stuff I normally use, just because the Vallejo stuff I normally use is a much coarser texture. But we'll still do a little bit of a comparison between the two because they are pretty similar products. So I'll grab a little base there. Let's pop this open. Okay, so we look in there and immediately you can kind of see the texture, but first impression here, it actually looks a lot like one of their paints color-wise. It looks an awful lot like dark neutral gray. If you can see if I hold that up there, that is a very similar color. And it's funny because I actually just ordered another bottle of this too because it's my favorite off black. It's a really good paint. So uh, let's see how this fine basing texture does. And we'll do them side by side on the same base here. So we've got a little 32 mil base and I just grab an old brush that's seen better days. I think this one actually had some plastic putty on it at one point. So let's grab some of this. Uh, texture's nice and firm. I feel like this will be pretty good to work with. Okay, yeah, that spreads on pretty nicely. And, you know, they make different ones. There's different ones you can get. Vallejo makes a bunch in different colors, but that's never really mattered to me because I'm just going to paint over them anyway. So it's fine to me that this is just kind of a generic dark gray color. Okay, I like that. And it's firm enough, too, that you can actually do a little bit. Like you could sculpt it up and kind of mound it up and build some different stuff out of it if you wanted to. And the texture, at least on this fine version, it lives up to the name. It's pretty fine, but it's, it's still coarse enough that for, you know, 28 millimeter scale miniatures, like 40K or, you know, Age of Sigmar scale miniatures, I'd still buy it as I like to do a lot of urban uh, blasted urban ruins type of basing, and I would definitely think that would still work for that. So let's grab the old stuff. The other thing about the Vallejo is, like a lot of their products over the last year and a half or so, really since the start of the pandemic, maybe even a little earlier, it's just been really kind of hard to come by. This lid is a little stuck. There we go. Yeah, if you get this stuff in the threads, I mean, it is just acrylic paint mixed with some grit, basically, and uh, it will gum up the, uh, the threads on the jar if you let it. So let's grab some of this. And I always considered this a pretty coarse texture, so let's see how it stacks up. Like I said, it, and it's a uh, meant to be asphalt or lava or whatever, so it's black. And it's... Actually, the grain of the texture is fairly comparable here. So we're back after having let this sit for a while. It sat for a little over an hour, and I gave it a little help with the hair dryer because I am not a very patient man. Um, but as you can see, actually, the texture is pretty similar uh, for the grit itself on here. I'm really pretty pleased with how this came out. So... Um, you can see that the, the finish on the Vallejo is maybe a little bit more glossy, but again, to me, that doesn't really matter much, because I'm just going to be painting over it anyway. 
Speaking of, uh, let's see how it takes paint. I'm really happy with the way that the Vallejo typically takes my preferred uh, pa base painting method of contrast. So let's see how this does. I'm going to put over, let's see, we'll go over that with some... My go-to is typically bright warm gray. So we'll uh, hit that with some bright warm gray and then contrast away and see what we get. Okay, and we've applied some of the bright warm gray. One thing that I had not uh, really thought through, but makes a lot of sense, is so this side here um, is the Vallejo side. This side is the Pro Acryl side, and I know I said it didn't matter a ton um, what the original color was, but it turns out it kind of does, uh, because this gray of the Pro Acryl took that paint a lot more easily than the Vallejo did. Uh, at least with just a pretty simple kind of slapping it on sort of approach. The other thing here that's really interesting is uh, there is a little bit, there appears to be a little bit more difference to that texture than I had initially thought. So let's see, let's grab uh, my preferred basing paint of choice. Now I tend to like to vary things up and I'll add like some little Gilliman flesh or maybe even a little bit of green on my urban bases. But for test purposes, we're just going to, Go ahead and just slap on the Basiliconum Gray <clears throat> and just see what happens. And using an old, not using one of my nice brushes for this, just an old ratty one, because uh, contrast paint likes to, uh, it, it's designed to flow, and my concern is that it'll get down into the ferrule of my good brushes and cause them to split. So let's just kind of slap this on here. All right, and that is all dry now, and uh, you can see, I mean, both take the contrast plenty well. They've both got a lot of different texture to work with, but again, like I was saying, you can see, and, and maybe it was how, maybe I applied it somewhat differently, though I don't, I, I don't know that, I didn't feel like I did. Here, let me pivot some lights here to see if we can get a better look here at this texture. So this is the Pro Acryl side, this is the Vallejo side. Here, I'll turn it around and make it more consistent what it had been but so this is the Vallejo side this is the pro acryl side and I mean I'm just noticing just some a little bit of difference in texture there might have been how I put it on though who knows uh, either way I mean both are perfectly usable I mean the pro acryl is every bit as usable for my purposes as the Vallejo was which um, yeah so the fine pro acryl is comparable to the Vallejo black lava so let's talk about price. It will be immediately clear to you uh, that the Vallejo or Vallejo, if uh, you are pronouncing your Spanish correctly, uh, comes in a much bigger jug, uh, 200 milliliters compared to 120 for the Pro Acryl. And the Pro Acryl uh, retails for $12.50 American. And the Vallejo <laughs> here's the problem, and this is what had me looking at Procryl in the first place. This stuff is, it's pretty inconsistent to be able to find it. So, you know, I found some on eBay um, with a price tag of, I think it was $14 for this big old tub with $9 in shipping. Now, you have to pay for shipping from Monument Hobbies as well. Uh, but if I'm honest, I order enough stuff from Monument anyway that I pretty quickly hit their flat rate shipping regardless. So it's not as big of an issue for me. But um, if you were just buying the basing paste per milliliter, this stuff is going to be cheaper. But like I said, as far as time saving, I wasn't anticipating this gray color making a difference. Uh, but it really does. So there you go. Um, between this specific Viejo paste and the pro acryl um, the paint went on a little bit easier with this one and um, the texture was a little bit different i think the texture might have been, even been a little bit more interesting so definitely comparable and uh both miles and miles cheaper than this so that's the uh, product review it's definitely worth a look in my opinion if you're if you're wanting to buy some basing paste and uh and especially if you're already going to be making an order from Monument Hobbies, which I highly recommend, Pro Acryl, uh, this is some of the other paint that came in today. Pro Acryl is swiftly taking over my paint collection at this point. So yeah, 
worth throwing a jug of this onto the uh, onto your order as well if you're going to be shopping there. So uh, that'll just about do it for today. Uh, if you like the video, please uh, give it a like, and I'll see you next time.